and gentlemen. Fotawu Water, as the president stated in his State of the Nation address, has been provided to areas like Konongo, Kiri, Wilema, Akwetia, and Wa. On this note, is it logical to state that government has not reneged its role of providing a serene and comfortable atmosphere for the flourishing of small scale businesses owned by the youth of our country? Hence, government is solely responsible for investing in the youth. Last but not least, since issues of the, of the youth are at the back and core of government, any more of these than misappropriation or embezzlement of funds in respect to the youth is tackled fiercely by government. Instances are Wyoming Hot. Supreme Court ordered him to refund 51.2 million Ghana cities to the state. Charles Ward faces broke. Justice Enin Yawa, head five member committee. Headmaster to face Iyoko for allegedly embezzling donations to the school. The chair, panel of judges, thank you, Thank you, Ladies and gentlemen, this epitomizes that all issues of the youth are at the beck and call of government. The chairperson. Panel of judges, fine people, distinguished guests, students, ladies and gentlemen, with our gold ceiling point rate, I would like to call on you, all you sons and daughters of Ghana, to pursue a due course in favor of the motion, and I quote, investing in the youth, the sole responsibility of government. Thanks for your audience. The, youth, the government supports education in, the, in Ghana. Can you imagine? Anyway, the only two they have is a hammer, so no wonder they see this problem to be a nail. Ladies and gentlemen, what about the bills we take to our parents and guardians at the end of each term? Again, who provides all the other educational needs that the government doesn't provide? Are they not provided by our parents and guardians? So you see, the parents and guardians also contribute to investing in the youth, and not only the government, as being purported by my opponent. Madam Chairperson, now that my opponents have been reduced to their real size, I will plunge into the mainstream of the feather and better particulars I have in my custody, which contains nothing but the truth. To start with, Madam Chairperson, the youth as an individual also has to invest in himself by realizing his potentials and capabilities. This will help him explore whatever opportunities are available to him. Let me hasten to say that wherever there is determination, failure cannot dismantle the flag of success. That is, whatever one plans to do with or without a government, with determination, it could be done. The youth therefore are not supposed to rely entirely on the youth for on the government for everything. John F. Kennedy once said, and I quote, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, unquote. This attests to the fact that 
well-developed countries with solid structures still have to open hands for the support of the individuals of the state.